Part 2. Want to know what makes up emotional intelligence? Let's dive into it. Emotional intelligence, often abbreviated as EI, is the capacity to comprehend, utilize, and manage our own emotions in positive ways. It empowers us to relieve stress, communicate effectively, empathize with others, surmount challenges, and diffuse conflict. It's about harnessing our emotions to enhance our lives, improve our relationships, and achieve our goals. In leadership, it is invaluable. Leaders with high emotional intelligence inspire, motivate, and cultivate a harmonious atmosphere. They lead with empathy and authenticity, fostering trust and respect. On a personal level, mastering emotional intelligence is transformative. It helps us understand our emotional responses, enabling us to manage and express our feelings healthily and constructively. So remember, emotional intelligence is not just about emotions, it's about how we manage these emotions to bring out the best in ourselves and others. Stay tuned as we delve deeper into the realms and competencies that constitute emotional intelligence. Emotional intelligence is broadly divided into four realms. First up is self-awareness. This realm is all about understanding our own emotions, recognizing how they impact our thoughts and actions, and how they influence those around us. The better we understand ourselves, the better we can navigate the world around us. Next is self-management. This is where we take our self-awareness and use it to control and manage our emotions. It's about staying composed, positive, and unflappable, even in trying situations. Then we have social awareness. This realm is all about understanding the emotions of others, picking up on their emotional cues, and empathizing with their perspectives. It's about being in tune with the emotional climate of others around us. Lastly, we have relationship management. This realm is about managing relationships effectively, using our understanding of our own and others' emotions. These four realms collectively constitute emotional intelligence, and within them lie the 12 competencies of EI. Within the realms of emotional intelligence, there are 12 competencies. Let's delve into the first six. Starting with emotional self-awareness, this competency is all about recognizing and understanding your own emotions, which is the first step towards managing them effectively. Next, we have emotional self-control. This is the ability to keep disruptive emotions and impulses in check, maintaining your composure even in challenging situations. Moving on, we come to adaptability. This is about being flexible and adapting to new situations and overcoming obstacles. Following this, we have achievement orientation, which involves striving to meet or exceed a standard of excellence and continually seeking to improve. Next, we have the positive outlook competency. This is the ability to see the good in people, situations and events, which fuels resilience. Lastly, for this part, we have empathy, the ability to understand and share the feelings of others, enabling us to connect on a deeper level. These competencies are not just skills, they are behaviors that we need to develop and improve. Continuing with the competencies of emotional intelligence, we delve into organizational awareness. This is the ability to understand the emotional currents and power relationships within an organization. It's about having a finger on the pulse of the group's emotional climate. Next, we have influence. This is the capacity to have a positive impact on others, to persuade or convince them to gain their support. Coaching and mentoring is another important competency. It's about fostering the long-term development of others by giving feedback and support. Conflict management involves resolving disagreements in a constructive way. It's about finding common ground and building harmony. Then we have teamwork, which is about working with others towards a shared goal. It involves creating group synergy in pursuing collective objectives. Lastly, inspirational leadership is the ability to inspire and guide individuals and groups. It's about leading by example and fostering a positive motivating environment. These competencies are the building blocks that shape our emotional intelligence. In conclusion, emotional intelligence is a blend of these 12 competencies. Each competency contributes to our self-awareness, self-management, social awareness, and relationship management. Emotional self-awareness is the foundation, allowing us to recognize our emotions and their impact on our lives. The competencies within self-management including emotional self-control, adaptability, achievement orientation and a positive outlook, empower us to navigate our emotions effectively. Meanwhile, empathy and organizational awareness, the components of social awareness, enable us to understand the emotions of others and the emotional currents within a group or organization. Lastly, relationship management encompassing influence, coaching and mentoring, conflict management, teamwork and inspirational leadership, helps us to foster meaningful and productive relationships. 
These competencies are not isolated. They interweave, each one strengthening and supporting the others, enhancing our ability to navigate our personal and professional lives with emotional wisdom. Thanks for joining, please don't forget to smash the like button, subscribe and hit that bell for more updated content. To improve your weak spots, see our next video on improving your EI, the most effective way.